want to talk about rescue and escape from submerged vehicles. This winter in Maine, especially, we had a lot of serious flooding that went on. And anytime you've got flooding, people should not drive across flooded highways. You have no idea what the integrity of that roadway is underneath. You have no idea if the road's been washed away or not. You have no idea what the water depth is. So people should not drive their vehicles across flooded roadways. You're running late and your path is blocked by water crossing the road. It doesn't look that deep, so you decide to drive through it. Bad decision. And it may be your last. So what we advocate is turn around, don't drown. And that when a vehicle ends up in the water, number one, you've got water pressure against the doors. Uh, if they go through ice, you've got ice pressure against the doors. Uh, so you probably cannot get out through the doors. And the only mechanism to escape would be the windows. But in order for that to happen, you've got to open the windows before the battery shorts out. There are tools on the market to break open the windows. However, those spring-loaded window punches and life hammer type devices, they only work on tempered glass, not laminated glass. In most late model cars, the side door windows are made of laminated glass. The only way to get out of that kind of glass is to saw your way through. And very few people carry a glass saw in their vehicle. So we recommend the standard would be to disengage your seatbelt, open your windows, get children out, and get out of the vehicle. So don't panic. Don't waste time on your cell phone. But seatbelts off or cut. Windows open or break if you can break them. Children removed and get out of the vehicle. Again, do not attempt to uh, open the doors. Do, uh, you may want to go through the sunroof or whatever the case may be, but be aware that most late model cars now have glass made out of laminated glass rather than tempered glass, and you won't be able to break open that kind of window.